Hello, it's Motor Test of the Week. Um, in fact, I didn't get a video out last week. I was uh, very busy, uh, had to do a load of overtime at work and stuff. Still, it uh, gets me a bit of money. Um, but finally here, and uh, basically going to try uh, one of these eBay special motors. Because um, they're incredibly cheap. Uh, where are we? £3.96 pence. Uh, if you get one of these sent from China you can pick one of these four with free shipping so for less than four pounds UK pounds um, you can get one of these motors so I'm going to see what they're like because um, they're you know incredibly cheap all right so let's have a look what we got uh, they do come with the old uh, accessories and stuff but they do not come with any bullet connectors soldered on you got to solder on your own bullet connectors but it does come with a nice little prop adapter and the cross mount and the screws so for less than four pounds that's I think that's pretty good um, let's scroll down to the specs list here we go all right so this one is a 2212 5 turn and it's 2700 kV um, it says net weight of 50 grams so I think just the motor on its own is 50 grams and with the mount on and the adapter and connectors on it will weigh about 60 grams um, it says it's for 2 or 3 cell LiPo uh, I'm just going to test it on 3 cell uh, I don't really have any decent uh, two cells, um, so I'll just be testing it on three cell. Uh, so it's low current of 18 and a half amps and max power of 240 watts. Uh, ESC recommended is 30 amp, 20 amp. Uh, I'm going to be using a 25 amp so in the middle. It says peak amps 14 to 22 amps, so have to see what that means maybe it would be like a burst of 22 amps I'm not sure and for efficiency it's best is about 14 amps so somewhere in between there so 18 and a half amps so let's uh, get one of these on the thrust stand and uh, give it a try see what it does right here we are um, I was having a quick play with this while I, uh, with a different battery while I was waiting for this battery to charge and um, I thought I'd just put a uh, 4045 ball nose prop on there and I was just checking I had the rotation going the right way and stuff and I thought I'd give it a quick blast and even with a 4045 on there it pulled over 30 amps oh. so um, it's yeah so it's can't turn as big a prop as I was expecting on this so um, I've started off very small uh, with this prop I'm not sure what make it is I've got it off Hobby King it's a 3535 ball nose prop um, and the battery I'm using is a zippy 2200 milliamp 25c 3 cell and ESC, I'm using a Turnergy Plus 25 amp ESC. So, starting off very small with this because it was drawing way more current than what I thought it was. So, uh, let's see what numbers we get. <laughs> Making a horrible noise. I'm already up to what the max specs say. Boy, I mean, that's. I think that prop's balanced, but it doesn't seem to have a wiggle on the uh, adapter, so I don't know why that was vibrating so much. 
but oh I can't believe that's already up there so uh, <laughs> right so let's try another propeller okay now I have a uh, I think it's a gem fan 4045 and it's the carbon reinforced nylon props the uh, sort of sports props type type and still on the three cell so let's see what results we get on here doesn't sound all that great does it the bearings need a bit of oil or something <laughs> sounds a bit rough about the same as the other one a bit more thrust Uh, get me temperature gauge. If there's any heat in the boiling jet, uh, 30 degrees, and it is what is it? 20 degrees in there. All right, so let's. Try another prop, let's see how far we can push this thing. Okay, now I have a TGS 4.1 by 4.1 sports prop on there. Still on three cells, so let's have a look. the motor making that noise. Oh crikey. <laughs> oh dear. That's um I think I've already maxed that out. <laughs> Temperature on the readings there. Hmm. Thirty one degrees. Hmm. Give that a longer blast. Mm -hmm. It's dropping quite quick. Hmm. I don't think you can put a very big prop on these at all. So let's uh let's stick one more prop on there. Oh I didn't look at the uh, no I did didn't I? I did. Let's look at the what's the same time. Yeah, still the same. Hmm. Right, let's try one more prop. Okay, I thought I'd stick a four point five by four point five. TGS prop on there and uh, see what happens here. Right. 
Same power. Oh, it's got three fifty watts. So that's a hundred watts more than it says it can take. Yeah, it's only at forty degrees. Forty one degrees. It's dropping quite quick. Found a little hot spot there. Well, that's not bad. If I was turning in a bigger prop on three cell, I was thinking of putting a small prop on it and put, trying it on four cell, but uh, I think I'm probably already a bit maxed out there. Um, I'll try sticking in there. One more prop on there. Okay, this is a Dow Prop 4045. It's the prop I tried earlier. Uh, still on the three cell. TGS 4.5 by 4.5 uh, performed the best. Um, it looks like, yeah, I'd say you can get away with that. Um, yeah, you can push one of those to 30 amps. 30 amps and about 100 watts more than it's supposed to take. So. Um, I mean, for four pounds, it's uh, what's that about? Five and a half dollars. <laughs> That's all right. Anyway, uh, I think I'll leave it there with that one. All right. So uh, give us a like if you like this video. Yeah, please give us a like and uh, subscribe. To see uh, some more motor test videos, got lots of them doing. Um, a bit more better motors than this one, but I bought one of these um, a while ago. I've also got a smaller 2600 kV version, um, but I thought I'd give this one a little test and see how it is because it's been sitting in my motor box for months. But anyway, I'll see you again next week on Motor Test of the Week. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.